Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to use GrabCAD Print. The software is the software you're going to be using in the ENR 153. It can be utilized in many other different applications, but that's the one we're going to be using it for today. Um, so once you have the application open, it's going to look something like this. In the bottom right here is where you're going to add your printer template. So you're going to click here on the menu. There's going to be an option that says Add Printer Template. You're going to click that, and you're going to click Stratasys and you're gonna click Dimension BST1200ES. That is the printer that we have here at MCC. So we're gonna hit add. What this is gonna do is gonna set up <coughs> template down at the bottom here. It didn't change because I already had it previously defaulted, but it will show the exact template of the build plate. So all the dimensions restrictions will be on there. So you will know, you know your limits and how big or how small you might need to make it. So now we're gonna add a part. So in order to do this, you're going to need a folder that you can find with an STL file. You're going to need both your driver side and your passenger side. And you're going to go up here in the top left, hit File, Add Models, know where it's at, click the STL file. This is not what I want to click. I'm going to go to Desktop here. I'm going to go to Example Car STL Files. I'm going to left side, right side. So you can select them one at a time. These are STL files. I'm going to select them both at once. So I'm going to click, hit control, click again, open. So now you got both of them in here. Right up here, it'll say models checked. This will tell you whether if it's green, you're good. If it's orange or any other color, you'll have a, a problem up here in this um, section up here. It'll be like red. And you'll click, see, no model error detected. If there was an error, where basically you had an infinitely tiny gap that you didn't know, this will actually fix them. So you'll go here, and it'll show you the self-intersections, open faces, inverted normals. And basically, all you really need to know at this page, if you need to click to it, if there's an error, just click repair all models, repair your model, and your car will be printing just fine. Um, so now I want to orient these. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to click on the piece. I'm going to go over here on the right side. I'm going to hit Orient. And then there's going to be an Auto Orient. This is going to orient it based on the printer's most optimal way to print. So I'm going to click that. This will change it. So it didn't want to move them all. It actually thinks this is the most optimal way to print. See, it's got most of the build on the plate, so you're not using much support material. You want to eliminate that support um, as much as possible. So it's already all set. <clears throat> And then I'll click the same for this one, auto orient. The only it's going to flip this one over. Okay. So now this is the way it wants to print, but you can change its position. And in order to do that, obviously they're intersecting. We don't want that. You're going to want to change the Z. Um, Z is just going to turn it on the build plate. So I'm going to do a 90 degree turn, hit enter, bam, we're all set. So as you can see here, there's no intersection. If I was to go over, you get red. You're doing fine right there right now. So you got this here, they're all set up, they're all auto-oriented, which is the best position it could possibly be in the print. And at this point, you wanna find out how much material it's gonna take. So you're gonna hit estimate, it's gonna take a bit. So you see it's calculating up here. All right, so this is the tray estimations. This will tell you how much it's gonna take. It's gonna take about six and a half hours going to take about 4.3 inches cubed of model material, 1.7 inches cubed of support material. And that's all you really need to know about GrabCAD print. So just make sure you have your STL files and know where the software is and you should be all set.